Hey Central New Market, did you know in the month of May, 33% of homes sold in your neighborhood sold for more than $200,000 over the asking price? Hey, I'm Darcy Toombs, broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate at Coldwell Banker, and this is your May 2023 sold report. Before we start, I wanna say thank you to Maiden Mexico for allowing us to film today in their private dining room at 179 Main Street South in Newmarket. If you haven't been here before, this is an amazing family-friendly restaurant that serves authentic Mexican cuisine and many amazing drinks with or without tequila. My go-to option for eating here is definitely the chicken chimichanga, but be forewarned, this thing is huge, so come hungry. As for drinks, it's gotta be the Lime Bulldog. If you know, you know. There was only nine sales in Central Newmarket in the month of May. One was a condo townhome on Brandy Laneway, one freehold townhome on Appleton Court. There's two condo apartments, one at 260 Davis Drive and one at 40 William Row Boulevard. And there were four detached homes, ranging in price from $820,000 for a small century home to a million one thirty for a cute three bedroom bungalow on Queen Street. And one was actually a commercial building on Main Street, but it was listed as a residential property. So because it was grouped in with them, I'm going to include it in this report. Now, five of those nine sales were sold at or above the asking price. And then three of those five sold for more than $200,000 more than asking. The bungalow on Queen sold for $230,000 more. A raised bungalow in Quaker Hill on Cloverdale Court sold for $223,000 more. And finally, that cute century home that sold for $220,000 more than the asking. In all three cases, these homes were drastically underpriced to generate multiple offers to get a, an above asking sale price. Now, there are two things that I'm really watching for in Central New Market in the month of June. One is how the condo market performs. There is seven condos currently listed for sale at the time of this filming, but five of these are actually assignment sales for the brand new condo that's being built called the Davis. An assignment sale would be somebody that's purchased a new construction condo unit, but they're not planning to actually move into it. So now they're looking to sell their contract to another buyer. And number two, how, if any, of the eight investment properties listed in the community do this month? Now, higher interest rates have pushed many investors to look outside the real estate market into easier, more liquid investment opportunities which could be a good indicator as to whether or not speculators are going to be getting in or out of real estate in the coming months. I am expecting to see inventory start to grow as we inch into the summer months and the Bank of Canada interest rate announcement on June 7th is certainly gonna have a negative effect on the purchasing power of buyers. However, the slow growth in inventory will likely only cause a slight decrease in average prices. But the fact remains that inventory is far too low for there to be a significant change in property values. But by the way, at the end of the month of May, active listings were still at a record low for the month of May. All right, if you have any questions or comments about anything you've heard today, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an idea on how much your home is worth in today's market, reach out to us. We'd love to set up a complimentary home evaluation to give you a realistic idea on how much your home is worth today. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.